Good morning, everybody. We are really excited to be here in Riga with everybody today. Um, today marks, I think, a significant step for those of you in the public and private sector, uh, from any of the Baltic countries, and from any type of organisation that is involved in anti-financial crime. Today we are launching what we call a chapter. I don't know if you use the term chapter here, but it's a group or a society, it's a not-for-profit organisation that really extends the activities of ACAMS to bring anti-money laundering, counter-terrorist financing and anti-financial crime education generally to a local level. It's something that is built by all of you. Um, I know that uh, a number of you here will be joining us this evening to celebrate this great event, but we have probably 200, 220 people coming this evening, the majority from Latvia, but a lot traveling from Estonia and from Lithuania to join us. And we look forward to hearing how the chapter evolves locally as the board, which is made up of volunteer members of your community, start to bring education, knowledge sharing and best practice development uh, through peer networking and volunteer community working to your region. So as part of the marking of this very important event, we are honoured to be invited by the Commercial Banking Association to discuss some of the key challenges facing not just Latvia and the other Baltic states, but many countries all over the world. The implementation of fast-changing legislation, the demands for critical inspection of ultimate beneficial ownership, and the desire to really raise the standards in society around the movement of money. Today I have brought with me esteemed colleagues from the ACAMS community. Um, Mr. Rick McDonnell, who is the former executive secretary of probably the most important body in the anti-financial crime world. Rick previously uh, was responsible for implementing many of the changes that are now leading to the effectiveness of the implementation of the FAT of standards globally. Also my colleague from the ACAMS Nordic chapter, Ms. Marie Lumberg, a very experienced anti-financial crime professional, who with the other eminent panellists will lend you both a global and a Nordic perspective to the topics being discussed today. The culture of compliance and the tone from the top is something that you are all responsible for building. Nobody can do it for you. It isn't necessarily an easy road. The effective sharing of information between public sector and the private sector is done well in some jurisdictions, but it takes time to build. So we're very excited to be part of this community that is setting such high standards and to working with you to help with the education of those of you in the profession, to build a community for you to stand together and share knowledge as you face the challenges in your own organisations, whether banks or fintechs, service providers or public sector organisations. And we wish you every success and we look forward to spending time with you today, this evening and to returning in another three years to see just how well you have done. So thank you again. Really looking forward to this morning's discussions. Thank you.